Welcome to Attican Plays Railway Empire. We're just going to run one train for now to get started. Now, he can start making some of the um, uh, gasoline, and we're not ready to ship it yet, but we can get a start on it while we go up here and get this um, iron ore and coal. I'm going to do ore first just because you need more of it. Not that it really matters. We've got to have both to get anything done. So we'll go down here to Rochester. And they have a slot open. And you know what? We're going to be shipping out of Roch. Oh, that's okay. We can use the same line. Okay, never mind, never mind. I'm thinking ahead to how am I going to ship, uh, how are we going to ship the goods from Rochester to Chicago. And what we're going to do is run down that line we already have and then skirt by Rock Island to go directly into Chicago. So we won't really technically need another lane for that. Another platform because we can use the same one because it's going to go on the same track as the as the uh, Rock Island to um, Rochester line. So we need to. That's now here's the the disadvantage to not being able to do this in Duluth. This is a long track and we're not going to make a lot of money on it. Uh, shipping the iron ore and coal. We will make a profit, but it won't be huge. Uh, okay. Oh, I wish I had that before I did that big switch. That's all right. We've got one more switch coming. I think we're probably going to end up, at the end of the day, we'll run Mikados because they're fairly inexpensive and they're good freight trains. I feel a little guilty running these express trains as for um, freight, but you can see they're working just fine <laughs> when they're not broken down. All right, let's fi let's start fixing that. I can't stand that. All right, we'll put in repairs here because right now everybody comes there except these guys, so we'll put repairs in here as well. And let's take that extra freight. Good deal. And how are we looking? All right, we need to get moving. Need to get moving. with one of your locomotives. Right. We need to bump our money up, so we are going to pay off this guy as soon as we can and take out a bigger bond. Okay, there, that'll get us going. Ooh, I left a bunch of bridges in that. No wonder it costs so much. Bad, 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 bad. Shame on me. Now, a freight line like this, we can just go ahead and divide it up all we want to. Doesn't matter if they bunch up so much. Whoop, what did I just do? Okay.
Now grab our coal. You're building a station here. Well, you have to make your own mistakes. Okay, now we need to be able to deliver that stuff to Chicago. So what we're going to do is use this line, come out of there, come down, and then we're just going to kind of veer off and go around Rock Island. We could put a station and actually run through Rock Island if we wanted to, uh, but that's kind of extra expense. We don't need to. We don't need that. Oh, look at this! More freight revenue. Ah, we want that one, Beatrix. Okay, we go over, we come off, we go around Rock Island, and match back up, so how, okay, And while I'm thinking of it, since we're now going to multi-use this line, so to speak, we need to put in all our interim signals so these trains don't bunch up on one another. Before, we didn't put them in intentionally so that the trains would spread out. Now, we're putting them in so that the trains won't bunch up. <laughs> Now that merge, let's see, do we check our signals? Okay. You go. I've got something wrong here. Yes, I do. Should be right. Oh, I see what happened. Um, I just, just so everybody know what's going on there. When I did that merge, it, it interrupted the line, so it made this part into a two-way. Should have been a one-way. And then when I put those extra signals in on top of it, it then set them turned the wrong direction. But now we got everything straight. Okay, so that part looks good, and now we need. A little cross here, double track here. And ooh, before we do that, we need to follow our process. We, this is also a merge, so we need to merge with the first, cross over, check our signals. And our 
our signals look good. And here's another one where we need the multiple. Oh, we already got them, don't we? Yeah, we need more. Need those interim signals because we're now going to be running more trains on this line. And that'll take us right into Chicago with that steel. Once we do one more thing, double this up right here. Beautiful, beautiful. Now we just need to set up a nice line between Rochester and Chicago. And I think we could do four and four be eight. Let's do let's do six across the hypotenuse. Six of those babies. And Chicago back. One, two, three, four, five. And you saw some steel go in there. See it? Six. So we're shipping steel. Now we got the same problem with our um, um, gasoline, and we've got the same solution. We. Let's see, we come. Cross like so, and we go off like so, and then we go across. And we're going to be coming into that same thing. So this section right in here is going to get some traffic. We'll have to watch that and make sure we're okay. If we don't like it, we can always go back for some more money and set up a separate delivery line. In fact, I think crowding that up with one is enough. Let's go over here. And run this thing all the way in here like that. That'll, that'll keep the traffic oh, down a little bit. Such a fuss. We could have done that with this one too, run it in anyone. here. Might have been a good move, but I think we'll be fine. We'll watch, we'll monitor this and make sure we don't, we haven't messed up. Okay, now let's double this puppy up.
need to check our signals right here because we did do a merge and whoops and we need to pump up this line as far as signals are concerned Okay, now we should be able to run a Chicago to Columbia line. And let's run six trains on it. Columbia, Chicago. And look at all that nice petroleum. And Chicago to Columbia. So now we should be shipping, there we've got some steel down there. We should have both of them going and going fairly successfully, I would have to say. And you let's really go on up should here. pay more attention to the maintenance of your locomotives. Train loading, that means that we're not, we don't have enough means here. And boy, I'd love to build this one up. I'd love to put a museum right there. Okay, he's not making them fast enough to, I'd love to buy this dude, what would that cost? It's not bad, we can do that, we may. Increased reliability is always good. Anything that increases the reliability of your, of your equipment is a good thing. And I think we need repairs up here, by the way, speaking of reliability. So we've got these trains coming in down here without getting any maintenance. So we got maintenance here, we got maintenance here, we got maintenance here. Do we have it here? I think we do. Yep. Okay, we're better off on the maintenance. Now look at the money racking up. That's good. All right, so let's take a pause here and see where we are. We've got both of these going. There you go. You can see we're starting to go strong on that. We need that steel to pump up. I, I think the safest thing for us to do actually buy the steel industry. It's going to make a ton of money anyway. Buy it and pump it up one. He seems to be reticent to do so. The owner that is. So let us see what we can do about that. See if we can get into more debt. What would it cost us to buy that thing? And here's where our, our opponent is going to bid against us. If we go in and plop down a bid, it's uh, $4.99. Oh, that's so cheap. we got to have $4.99, $4.99. We have to have more than that. Oh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do. <laughs> Beatrix, oh, Beatrix no. can be had. Looks like one of your trains has a problem. Pay that one off. Take out a bigger one. Now we've got to uh, pay that one off. Take out a bigger one. Okay, now we've got some money to deal with. 942. Okay, we need to think of something that we don't really necessarily want, but we wouldn't mind having if we had it. And this beer, or this meat industry right here would be perfectly acceptable. I'm going to place a bid for it. There, Beatrice is going now. Do I dare do her one more time? Uh, I'm not going to. I'm, I'm, I'm a coward. I think I could, could, but I'm not going to. Now, now she just spent a bunch of money on a meat industry. My dear. So she's not going to have the cash I'm hoping to fight us on this guy. Lovely, lovely, lovely. You really should pay more attention to your money. Now let's bump that up one. 
now I'm feeling pretty good about it. Now our trains can start running again up here and making money on that route. We can, we can pump more steel in. It actually helps the growth of this city. And we might just stay right here and put a museum in Rochester while we're at it because we're going to be growing these, these cities later as well. And then we'll move on to our next phase. So gasoline is going great. Steel is going okay and it'll improve now that we've bumped that up. Because they're getting plenty of stuff. Plenty of raw materials. Now let's give them a museum. Shoot. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Runaway cursor. Okay. So Rochester's got a museum now. We, we own the steel industry there. We're looking pretty good. Okay. Let's see if we're starting to get any kind of, any steel. There's some, there's some, there, yeah, we're good. There we go. Now, now we're looking good. How much time we got left? It wouldn't hurt my feelings if we did it again. Look at the money that we make that we're making on this thing. Nine thousand a week. A week. Eight hundred thousand. Ah, I think we'll let that ride for a bit. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's wrap up this episode right there. Look at what we've accomplished. We have established ourselves. We own a refinery. We own a steel mill. We have lovely profitable lines running between Chicago, Rock, Rock Island, Rock Island and Columbia, and Rock Island, Rochester, and Chicago, Columbia, and Chicago, Rochester. And now guess what that is, folks? That is a four-city cluster. We just set up a four-city cluster. Rock Island goes to all three. Rochester goes to two of them. Rochester doesn't go to Columbia, nor does Columbia go to Rochester. However, given the fact they're making gasoline and... Um, uh, oh, and guess what? We have to make automobiles later in at least two places, and wouldn't Rock Island be a lovely place to make automobiles with those two things right there? We got ourselves just a lovely little setup here, I believe. I don't want to sound too cocky, but I think we've got ourselves a lovely start to this thing. So let's just wrap it up right there. All right, between the time that I sent this first part, the first part of this, up to, to YouTube, and uh, I was creating this second part, um, Maycheck Roback, and I'm sure I am butchering your name, but in West Virginia Hillbilly, that's how it comes out. Uh, Maycheck made a great observation. He kept said, wondered, why didn't I run wheat into Rock Island and pump up that beer industry since it was serving all three cities? And I, just, oh, it was just stupid on my part not to do that. And think about it, if I had done that, we would have had beer running on all those lines. And, the, and these really profitable lines we're running would have been way more profitable. And our city growth in all those cities would have been much faster. And uh, you'll see later how this plays out. It, it might have changed everything. So it was so important. I wanted to just stop here and add a little addendum to, the, uh, to this part two to recognize what Maychick observed and also just think of it as we need to think about codifying that. We need to think about that as part of our processes. If you're going to have beer serving three cities, for God's sake, give them some wheat. All right, so thanks. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player, and I hope you'll join us for our next Railway Empire video. Thank you.